what is up viewers it's the crack it guy and today's video is going to be a bit different as you can see i am not in the studio or i'm not at school in my room because i came back home for holidays it's almost christmas and if it's christmas already happy christmas and i am home right now and there is usually no content in my head like <laughs> look at that one bro, bro. look at this I can't shoot any professional video here so I have to vlog and the only vlog that came into my mind was what's in my computer and yeah I'm going to be giving it to you guys so let's get right into the video Meanwhile Alright guys, right now we are on our desktop and on this left hand or on the right hand side which you're seeing right now on your screen they are pretty much files that I have to work on and they are music, they are pictures including these, these are files of videos I have to edit and a bunch of useless stuff Over here, this is like where the apps I use mostly are So, this folder is like my used stuff I tagged it to used stuff because um, I pretty much won't be needing any of this anymore but I will not have to delete it so OBS studio is the screen recording app I use for my videos I can use OBS studio and I also have Bandicam so these two softwares are the softwares I use for my video recording and right now I'm making use of the Bandicam and over to this software named Visual Studio this is a text editor which I use for my Java in school they asked us to install this visual studio so that we can use it to work in school i'm in the computer science department and we are going to start doing lots of coding so this setting is for a video game which i play which is the PES 2017 right now and back up here this is a virtual machine that i use basically for my videos and for my personal use i use it to install any operating system or run any operating system on this particular windows 10 so i can run windows 11 on windows 10 using this virtual machine so there are different types of virtual machines out there but i prefer to use this one because this one is much more easier to use and i just like it then type faster this is a software type faster is a software that i used back in the days when i wanted to learn how to type faster because i love web development so i felt like i needed to learn how to type you know without looking at the keyboard so uh, this was one app that i used so i can just basically i don't know if you can see this but if you can see this my bad all i know is that jj d space f d f i failed already but you see right here i feel this but it has fun sound effects that you get to hear while typing so uh, i was listening to it in here you might not be able to hear it on the screen but yeah that's pretty much it for this software Chrome, Google Chrome is pretty much my browser. Like I love using Google Chrome. I'm sure you do because Google Chrome is like the best out there. Then Sublime Text is a text editor. You can use it for I don't know how many in particular, specific, specifically, but you can use it for many programming languages. Like I use it for my HTML. If you want to see a video of my web development, what I have been working on, the website I have been creating for myself, go ahead and drop a like. So moving on to the next one is the Movavi video editor like Movavi video editor like is the video editing software that I use for my videos right now as I'm currently talking to you I still have to upgrade like there are so many text fonts that I, I don't get when I'm using Movavi but it's like it's like the best as of now as in for a lower end PC that is 4 gig RAM and it is not free but I have a video tutorial already on this channel so subscribe and go ahead and check it out it's also going to be in the in the description box so the vlc media everybody knows vlc media it is one of the best video video players out there for windows 10 or for any windows i love using it because it is just much more easier it is better than the video player already on the windows 10 so why not so right now we are not just going to end it here on my desktop i'm going to be going to my download folders because i think that is where my my most much important files uh, in fact that is where they are like if i look at it it just gives me i have so many things to talk about when it comes to this 
folder right here because this is this takes me back to even when i started this channel like there are softwares here so i'm going to be skipping some of them because maybe i don't remember them so the first one i'm seeing here already is the video scribe now this is a software that is used to edit text so it's like a text animation text editor i don't know what they call it i don't know how to put it in a sentence but you can also use it for a slight creation of animation the animation is not that big but it's just like you know those handwriting that just come out and you see it moving like this and it's writing text like this app this software can do it and it's also going to be the, the link is also going to be there in the description box and x i don't know what it is like i said i was skipping them all can't remember Movavi video editor is another video editor that i'm not yet using but i downloaded it so that you know maybe i will check it after moving on to the next software is the modern warfare setup now this was a a game okay yeah i don't know what this is but i will look it up and i'm going to put it on some of the screen but modern warfare i tried using it to play call of duty yeah i tried using it to play call of duty but can you imagine that call of duty was 90 gig 90 gig like <laughs> right here in nigeria the highest amount of gig that or data that i've actually had on myself was 20 gig don't get me wrong like the 20 gig i bought was like it was like a gift to me and normally like if i was to go okay big on my own budget it's like 9 gig so where would i get 90 gig from i just dumped it i left it i even uninstalled it so this is just a setup file and this should be a hp assistant that i had to install on my pc so this is HP support. I installed it multiple times without knowing. So moving on to the next one, which is IVCam. IVCam is another software that you use on your PC to make use of the, the camera on your Android phone. So your Android phone camera, you use your laptop to assess your laptop, your, your Android phone's camera and use it maybe on your on your laptop for a Zoom call, a broadcast, a screen recording, whatever you want to use it for, instead of having to make use of the one on your desktop screen. Because older laptops nowadays, in fact, older laptops, their cameras are trash. So I see auto tune, auto tune, as guy, this guy. So basically, okay, basically all these folders right now. I back then I had interest in almost everything I came across, and it helped me in a kind of way. Because now I'm doing YouTube, and if I hadn't had that um, habit of you know wanting to do everything i don't think i would have actually been doing this right now so these are just auto tune files that i might maybe likely delete in the future so bitcoin 0.2 i downloaded so that i could start investing but till today i never put in any investment on bitcoin and i'm not regretting it not like you know people are doing it and they're making shitload of money but i never had to use this so it's just i just looked at it on this video so contact cam you can use it to like view multiple cameras in one screen i don't know how i will call it in or explain it for you guys jdk this is a java file that i also installed for my schooling so we're going to skip that one and wechat was a i never got to use this but i think it's just is it i think it's a social media platform where a friend of mine asked me to install it but he just wasted my time he never used it youtube video maker is a video editing software that i started i tried using when i started this youtube channel and you know i used it i used it but it was not good i have never recommended it for anybody but i still leave it here you know just in case maybe one day it just becomes for sale bro i'm gonna sell this app so the voice changer software you guys change your voice basically on video calls normal calls on your laptop and so forth you just you can change your voice even when you're recording from your microphone so over here is store browser it's a browser basically and it helps you change your help hide hide your ip address so that when you get on the dark web it will be much more easier for people to not hack you you get it anybody who is like me and uses the internet a lot should have even thought of making use of the dark web so <laughs> i tried it but i never had to i never got to you know get into the dark web because i felt like it was just playing with my head like there was nothing serious i couldn't find it so melodyne these are plugins auto i auto i these are all plugins like this ones right here auto setup voloco plugin auto eve launcher is a game launcher that you used to play a kind of game online but i never got to play the game so i don't know what the game was so s data 2 if you want to know more about this go ahead and check it up on the internet it's going to be there i can't remember how to use it because i never got to use it which is still pending me today rufus so rufus is a software that can allow you to make any bootable any any cd drive or disk drive at all 
bootable. So you can use it to create bootable, bootable hard drive, bootable flash drive, bootable USB stick, bootable, bootable, bootable. So Metasploit framework. Now Metasploit, this Metasploit is a network framework and I don't know how to explain this but I use this in my command prompt to hack phones. Like you can use it to hack phones. Maybe like it's like one of the easiest ways to access any phone by sending payload or whatever you create payloads with this this and, and you send it to the phone and you receive and you exploit and everything 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 in between bluestacks is a software that allows you to like have a kind of virtual android device on your laptop so you know how i you know how you have virtual machines on your laptop that can run windows 11 you also have this bluestack is a virtual machine that is a this bluestack is a virtual machine that allows you to have a virtual android phone on your laptop so this is a windows 11 iso file which i've not gotten to like i said i run it on my virtual machine so i don't want to install it yet on my pc i've not yet felt like because i'm not enjoying the windows 11 yet hopefully i'll make a video if it's not too late on how to install windows 11 on a virtual machine or on your pc I don't know what to show you guys again so maybe watch out for part two like there should be a prop there should probably be a part two on this video drop a comment if you want to see a part two and what you might want to see in that part two of this video but before i make that video i must have had to leave this room this house i must go back to, i must have gone back to school because right here filming a video here is really hard as you can see maybe if you watched throughout the video my voice was a bit low and thank you for watching this video and without further ado i will see you in my next video peace so these are movies that you know i have watched and i don't have any links for any of these movies in the description box but i will try to find any but if you don't find any my bad but behind closed doors i'm a fool for your love